I don't much enjoy coming here. I don't put it on my tours. I was locked on here because it's on the advertised tour program. Uh, I want to quit it. I want to cancel it. My wife said, well, you better not. Someone might mm -hmm. complain. So that was a discussion. Therefore, here we are. Uh, don't forget that Germany of today is a very different country. I love Germany. I, I love the culture and the, the cuisine. I, I do not have to get past it. Uh, I've got some old Nazi films, you know, from Time Life. You can buy these DVDs of the final thing that people were doing. They're horrific and, you know, atrocities. Um, we do have audio guides. If you guys would like to look around the site, there's something, you know, 10, 20 minutes and, or, or half an hour, whatever you'd like. And then, and then uh, Tony wants to share this poem, which I think is totally fitting. Maybe out there away from this kind of building. Well, that's all right. Thank you. Okay. We'll we can do it here. Do you yeah, like to? We'll do it right here. We'll get the guy. Uh, Dietrich Bonhoeffer was a prisoner for over two years. Uh, his brother-in-law was a Jew who was imprisoned. Right. Uh, right. He lost his brother-in-law and a couple of brothers in, uh, into uh, uh, through these prison camps who were horribly tortured, right. and uh, they were in the higher echelons, and he was a political prisoner. But Jenny, you can help me uh, renew the night uh, by uh, the Jewish man who is in this prison camp, who's very well known. I can't think of his name right now. But he writes in this book, The Night, that uh, a little boy is hung. And uh, the people say, where is God? Right. And, he sa and, and this Jewish man says, he is hanging. Oh. At any rate, uh, Dietrich Bonhoeffer wrote this poem. He wrote many, but this one is... I understood the children of Germany had to, uh, did learn it in their schoolrooms. I don't know if they do now. It's called The Powers of Good. And the powers of good he's talking about are not only God, but the powers of our families, our lives, right. our memories that sustain us. And so I, I may have a few words wrong here and there. I haven't uh, in my own head recited it, so I wrote it down because I think I've, I've got it mostly right. Wow. With all the powers of good to aid and guide me, comforted and inspired beyond all fear, I'll spend these days with you and thoughts, with thoughts of you beside me, and pass with you into the coming year. The old year still torments our hearts unceasing. The long year of our sorrow still endures. Lord, grant to the souls thou hast been chastening, that thou hast promised the healing and the cure. But if it should be ours to drink the cup of sorrows, even to the dregs of pain, at thy command we will not falter, happily receiving all that is given by thy loving hand. But it should be thy will to release us once more to life's goodness and its glad sunshine. All that we've learned from sorrow will sustain us, and all our lives be dedicate as thine. Today, while candles shed their radiance, Lo, is it not thy hand leading us to that longed-for meeting? Even the darkness is at thy command. And now, while all the darkness hearkens for thy listening, let all thy children's voices raise and all the world around us their paean to thy praise. While all the powers of good stay and keep me, whatever happens, come what may, at even and at morn, God will be with me, and almost surely on each born day. Thank you. Thank you. It's hard to read a poem like that um, calmly. And people like uh, being a Bonhoeffer to me are heroes because they didn't back down. They did what they could. And the German church, for a lot of points, was kind of quite quiet. People kind of accused, why didn't the German Lutherans do something? They were there. It's very easy to point a finger. Um, uh, well, they did have the barman confession of a group of them that did try to. Yeah. And he was yeah. taken from Buchenwald right before this uh, and uh, hung at Flossenburg. And his yeah. last words, according to the witnesses, were, this is not the end, this is for me the beginning. So that's a person who had a grip on eternity and where they were headed. And um, this is the film, Agent of Grace, and it's available on Amazon, from Amazon. From Vision Video, it's it's poignant. It shows him going to America, and they say, and, he, and they say, Dietrich, why are you going back to Germany? You know what might happen? And then his family gets arrested. He gets detained. And, oh, I'll be out. Just don't worry. And then um, I was in Berlin in June. We we're looking at the topography of terror, which is one of Berlin's better, more poignant sites. It's like uh, former SS buildings, only part not they were bombed on purpose, obviously, but um, and excavated in a bunch of rubble, and then a, a, a side left and a 
existing perimeter wall with weatherized laminated photos of Goering and Goebel and Gurlitz and all these people. Uh, and explanations in English and German people kind of wandering through in the rain and the Jews are like, and one guy said, if you had anybody to meet, who'd you like to meet? And one guy said, oh Jesus, Apostle Paul said, Hitler, and I was shot that <laughs> blank right there. And he said, he questioned my, my, well that would mess up sovereignty. So well, I wouldn't mind messing up that sovereignty. Uh, sorry if you <laughs> don't like that insensitivity, dear brother. Uh, Lutheran pastor from Nebraska, he's a little rattled. I'm like, well, I'm sorry. He killed a lot of people and brought misery in this world. And uh, seriously, we kind of do this to Hitler. I guess you guys just reserve, but uh, God is infinite mercy at the final moment. I don't know. The thief who had no chance to do good works was assured of heaven. Today, this day, you'll be with me in paradise. Christ himself said, ah, go figure out the sovereignty of God in this whole deal. I, this place annoys me. Well, I'd like this However, a little bit. <laughs> let's go see some audio guides. <laughs> but having said all that, let's get some audio guides.